Hello and welcome to this guide telling you exactly how to set up a web kiosk on a PC. The PC that I'm using here is the Intel Nook. See it fits really nicely behind the screen with the Visa port. I have all the cables that you need there to show you what, what's typically needed. HDMI cable, mouse and keyboard, um, the power bits and pieces, network cable um, is the easiest way to set it up, most reliable. And I'm zooming in here in the essential part web converger operating system installed on that USB key stick. I'll tell you how you do that exactly in another video. I'll just link it from here. Now your PC should boot that attached USB key with the web converger operating system by default. If it doesn't, I'm going to link to another video explaining how the BIOS might be set up. So here's web converger booting. This is what it looks like. It's got a menu, and you can leave it at the default, the default being live. And that's a great mode to try out Web Converger. It doesn't touch any pre-existing software that you have on your PC. And it's also a great solution for temporarily changing your PC to a web kiosk, you know, for an event or something. Once Web Converger is booted, you might see a network disconnect icon there. That means it's looking for a network. And if you plugged in the net, that network cable, it should just work immediately. Uh, the spanner and the screwdriver icon means it's downloading a configuration. In this case, this web converger is booting up unconfigured. An unconfigured web converger is perfectly usable. In fact, thousands of people use web converger this way. But I'm just going to tell you about now the configuration management system that web converger has, which is great for uh, managing many machines. To trial the configuration management, Simply provide your email address and the default home page you want Web Converger to be set to. Uh, once you submit the form, you can make you can check your email address to for the password to make further changes. Though you can immediately just uh, add your your PC to that control panel by clicking that that link there and putting in your email address again. So I'm just typing in my email address and then the machine's identity based on the motherboard and the address of your network device is submitted and it's mapped to that configuration. So the next thing to do is reboot Web Converger. To reboot the PC, you typically just switch the power switch on the PC. PC. Uh, there it is on the back of the nook there, just to demonstrate it. And then I push the button again to make it boot. And it's only on boot where Converger gets those new settings. So here's the menu again. To avoid the menu in future, you can install Web Converger onto the hard drive or even another USB stick, in fact. Though just rocking here with the defaults, um, your, your users should really not see that menu or Web Converger boot up. You should have that sort of web kiosk set up for them and ready to go and, and not having them to sort of turn on the machine to use it. So once it finds the network, it downloads the configuration and the new configuration is applied and that's the one with the home page set up as webconverger.com. And it works. Great. That's how easy it is to configure Web Converger.